Hello, you are welcome to solve for x in this nice square problem. From here, what is given which is square root of 96 plus we have square root of 13 plus square root of 7 plus square root of x equals to 10. Now here, let's square both sides from here. Squaring this side and also we square this side. The square here we cancel the square roots and what we left here is 96 plus roots square root of 13 then plus square root of 7 plus root x there which is now equals to here 10 squared 10 times 10 that's 100 from here then in the next step let's take 96 to this side and this we mean square root of 13 plus square root of 7 plus square root of x now equals to here we have 100 minus 96 then this will become square root of 13 plus square root of 7 plus square root of x will now be equal to 4 on this side then also from here we can square both sides and this will become square root of 13 plus square root of 7 plus square root of x square here they equals to 4 square on this side such that here square we cancel square roots and this will remain 13 plus square root of 7 plus square root of x now equals to 4 square 4 times 4 which is 16 then also from here let's take 13 to this side and we are left with square root of 7 plus square root of x now equals to 16 minus 13 and this becomes square root of 7 plus square root of x now equals to 3 on this side the next let's also square both side this now becomes square root of 7 plus square root of x square then equals to 3 square on this side then from here this square also cancels square root and this becomes 7 plus root x left here then equals to 3 square here 3 times 3 which is 9 then we also take 7 to this side then we have here root x now equals to 9 minus 7 and here it means we have root x now equals to from here then we can take the square both side again and we have root x square now equals to 2 square then square cancel square root we have x now equals to 2 square 2 times 2 and that's 4 so we have x equals to 4 now let's check if this satisfies the given problem on what is given here which is square root of 96 plus square root of 13 plus square root of 7 plus square root of x and here we got x to be equal to 4 now let's substitute x equal to 4 here and this will become square root of 96 plus square root of 13 plus square root of 7 plus square root of 4 now is this equal to 10 
and here root 4 here is 2 then this will become root 96 plus root 13 plus root 7 plus 2 and is this equal to 10 from here then what we have here 7 plus 2 that's 9 and we have square root of 96 plus square root of 13 plus square root of 9 is this equal to 10 then also here we have root 9 here that's 3 and this becomes square root of 96 plus square root of 13 now plus 3 is this equal to 10 then from here this plus this that gives us 16 and we have square root of 96 plus square root of 16 is this equal to 10 on this side then what we have here that's square root of 16 that's 4 we have square root of 96 now plus 4 is this equal to 10 then we have 96 plus 4 here that's 100 square root of 100 is this equal to 10 here and root 100 here is 10 which is equal to 10 and we have left hand side equals to the right hand side and hence we have x equals to 4 satisfying this particular given problem so here we have x to be equal to 4 thank you for watching subscribe to my channel and turn the notification bell on share this video give it thumbs up and put your comment in the comment section see you next class bye for now